Good morning everyone. How is everyone today? I hope everybody is fine. Okay, so uh, let's start with a new chapter today. Uh, which chapter? Maybe we'll start with uh, the solar system. Have you ever, ever heard about solar system? Yes? No? Um, okay, let me go to something else. Like, uh, do you have a family? I'm sure everybody has a family. And I'm sure everybody loves their own family. Yes? Uh, so like that, you know, in the solar system, the whole solar system is a family. So it has a sun, it has its eight planets and it has other celestial bodies. Now what do you mean by celestial bodies? Uh, the shiny things that you see every day in the night sky, like the star, the moon, yes, sometimes the planets also. So let's learn about them. Now, everybody knows about sun. So, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I just told about the chapter name. So, let me just write the chapter name, the solar system. Now, every time you draw any scenery or any art, you draw a sun, how does it look? Yes, like this. So, sun. Sun is a huge ball of gas. Huge ball of gas. So it has light and heat of its own. Okay, so it is the uh, it is the main source of energy on the earth. Got it? Every day we get light and heat from the sun. Got it everyone? After that, what comes in the solar system? It has its own eight planets orbiting around it. Do you want to see the planets? Let me show you all the planets. Okay. Oh, can you see the planets? Let me let me fix it. Okay. Hmm. Can you see them? Oh, yes. So, let's start with the planets now. Now, the first planet, which is the closest to the sun, do you know what is that? Mercury. Mercury, it is the closest planet to the sun. It is very cold at night and very hot at the day. It is the smallest planet among all. Now, its revolution period is 88 days. Now, what do you mean by revolution period? Revolution period means... The time it takes to revolve around the sun. So it takes 88 days to revolve around the sun. Secondly, we have Venus. Venus is the second planet from the sun. Also called as morning star and evening star. Why it is called morning star and evening star? Do you know why? Because sometimes in the sunrise and sunset time, it is visible from the earth. That is why it is called morning star and evening star. And you know what? It is the hottest planet. Means Mercury is closest to sun, but still Venus is the hottest planet. How? How is it possible? Yes, because it has like a uh, huge burning gases every time. The hot gases. It is filled up with hot gases. That is why it is the hottest planet. Now, revolution period is 225 days. As I told, what is revolution period? So, the time it takes to revolve around the sun is 225 days. Now, the third one is Earth. It is the third planet from sun. It supports life. It is the blue planet. Everybody knows because 70% of Earth is covered with water. Right? Now, it has only one moon that we see every day. And the shape of the moon changes every day. Everybody knows, right? So it has only one moon and the revolution period is one year or 365 days. Right children? Now next we have Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun. Also called as red planet. It has two moons and the revolution period is 687 days. Now why it is called as red planet? Because the soil and rocks present in Mars 
is red in color. That is why it looks red and called as red planet. Next, we are going to Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun. It is made of gas. It is the largest planet. It is a gas giant because it is fully made up of gas. Now it has 63 moons. Oh my God. It has 63 moons. And we have only one in the earth, right? Now next is revolution period. It has revolution period 12 years. Oh my God. It takes 12 years to revolve only once around the sun. Got it? Now next is Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from sun. It is the second largest planet. Means the first largest is who? The first largest is Jupiter. The second largest is Saturn. It has 60 moons. It has seven rings made up of shiny rocks. Can you see the ring? It has seven rings. Continuous seven rings. And it is made up of shiny rocks. And the revolution period is 30 years. Oh my God. It is so far from the sun. So you know what? The revolution period increases according to the distance from the sun of the planet. Right? Now Uranus. It is seventh planet from sun. It is the third largest planet. So first one is who? First one is Jupiter. Second one is who? Saturn. Third one is Uranus. The first planet that was discovered using telescope. So, previously people were using telescope that everybody knows. So, it was the first planet to be discovered by using a telescope. It has 27 moons. Revolution period is 84 years. Oh my God, so many years. After that, we have Neptune. Can you see Neptune? Yes. It is the 8th and last planet from sun. It has 13 moons. And its revolution period is 165 years. OMG. So many years. Neptune revolving once around sun taking 165 years. So as I just told that the time period of revolution increases according to the distance of the planets from the sun. Got it everyone? So this is all about your 8 planets in the solar system. Everybody understood? Got it? So you know what? Do you want to do an activity on the planets? Yes? So let's do an activity on solar system. Okay. So just come with me. What we all need is, I have got a scissor, two papers, okay. Now, I have got a cellar tip, a glue stick, a pencil, one eraser and also one sketch pin packet. Now, what I am going to do is, first of all, I am going to do a sun. Everyone can try this at home. It's very, very easy. Now, sun is very, very easy. Everybody needs to make sun in the solar system. It is the main and first and foremost thing, right? Okay, so this is the sun. I'm making half sun, not full sun because I'm going to start the activity from the from one corner. Okay. From this corner I will start. That's why I made half sun. Not even half. One fourth sun. Okay. Now next I am going to do the planets. So first one is what? Tell me first one is what? First one is Mercury. Okay. Now second one is what? Venus. Third one is what? Earth. Fourth one is what? Tell me. Fourth one is Mars. Okay. Now fifth one is Jupiter. Now sixth one is Saturn. And Saturn has a ring. Okay. 
so the ring let me draw the ring like this after that we have uranus after that we have neptune now let me just color them okay so we'll do fast fast this activity so let me color mercury let me fill some colors after that we have venus venus uh, i can take peach and brown you just need to fill colors like this now we have uh, earth so earth we can make like this means uh, in between little bit green green and uh, it is covered with water 70% so it will be a blue planet okay we are all ready with earth I'm so sorry I'm so bad at colors right now next we have Mars That's the red planet so we can do it orange is red maybe little bit orange is red and now we'll do Jupiter Jupiter will do peach then some brown orange lines on it one red mark on it uh, then we'll go for Saturn so everybody can see the structure of uh, moon sun planets in the internet it's very beautiful I just checked that and then I'm doing that Saturn I learnt all the colors and all how the planets look in real. Now this is your Saturn. Then we have Uranus. Then what do we have? We have Neptune. Little bit light blue. Okay, they're all set. Uh, we just need to cut it. But let me do the borders, then after that we can cut it. Oh, we have not done the sun. I mean, we have done it, but we need to color it. So the border, yeah, we'll cut it, the eight planets, uh, everybody can try this at home, it's very very easy and you will enjoy a lot I'm sure. Okay, so let me cut Mars.
let me cut jupiter so this is the jupiter now we also have earth the blue planet because 70% of earth is covered with water and due to the existence of water life survived in on earth right and other pl planets do not have life but earth is the only planet that has life all the living beings stay here right along with non living things okay so this is your saturn with its ring it's really fun to cut them oh we have one more and that is your neptune I'm making very small, small planets. Oh, this is your sun. So let me just color up the sun. Sun is a huge ball of hot gases. It has light and heat of its own. As I said. So I can just make it like orange, yellow. Like very much bright and light, very much bright and lighted. Okay, so this is your sun. Now what you are going to do is, you are going to take the all the garbages and make it apart. And we are going to take, oh I have not cut this one. This is what? This is Uranus. And it was the first planet to be discovered under a telescope. Right? So, now, to make, to give it a 3D structure, what we are going to do is, we are going to cut the silhouette and we are going to paste the sun here. Okay? Sun is pasted here and after that what comes? What comes after that? Mercury. But how it will come? They have their own orbits. They revolve around the sun in their own orbits. Okay. So how many orbits? Eight planet means three, four, five, six. Seven and eight. Okay, so eight orbits. First one is Mercury. Okay, to give them a 3D structure, I'm making this round like this. Then I'm pasting the Mercury here. After that, what? After that, we have. Venus. I'll take Venus. I'll cut the cello tape. Then I'll make a round with the cello tape. And then I'll paste it here. It is orbiting in its own fixed path. Then after that what is there? We have Earth. Right. Cut the cello tape. Make it round, then paste in the third orbit, and here it is Earth. After that, again we'll take the cello tape, we'll cut it, make it round, and then what we will paste after Earth is Mars, the red planet. Why red? Because of the soil and the rocks. The color of the soil and the rocks is red. That's why it is red. Now, what we have? After Mars, we have Jupiter. We'll take Jupiter. What we have next? 
we have saturn after jupiter and saturn has a ring right what's that this red color mark in jupiter is the storm in it okay now this is the saturn it has seven rings made up of shiny rocks okay that's the saturn orbit next we have uranus next we have neptune after that you can label them like this is your sun this is your mercury you can write like this mercury after that you can write venus after that you can write earth after that you can write mars after that you can write jupiter after that you can write saturn after that you can write uranus after that you can write neptune so 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 7 8 so now eight planets and sun completed right so this is your activity on the solar system so everybody can do this at home right i hope everybody understood everybody understood thank you so much